Northern Virginia and DC area homeowners or potential homeowners, our real estate market has been a bit up and down this spring. I'm Greer Updegraft. I'm a local realtor with Pearson Smith Realty and March numbers are in, proving that it has been an interesting start to 2023 with some notable changes compared to 2022. <music> First, homes across the region are staying on the market longer. We have seen a 43% increase in the average number of days on the market for properties compared to 2022. That number's coming in now at 33 days. While several hot areas are still experiencing homes coming and going in less than a week or so, this data point is encouraging for folks who don't want to get in a bidding war. And I have helped many buyers negotiate by seeking out the increasing number of homes that are staying on the market closer to a month. Home prices are holding steady with the average sold price up just a tad year over year to 658,940. However, the average sale to list price ratio has seen a decrease of 2.74% and is now sitting at 98.6%. It is still a seller's market because inventory is so low, but what this ratio shows is that buyers are regaining some room to negotiate the price down. We are finding our balance in many parts of the area. Overall, the DC metro area of real estate market is experiencing some changes, and change is of course the norm in real estate. It is a different market than last spring when interest rates were in the threes and fours and the market was on fire but no one expected that to last as interest rates climbed. In pockets of Northern Virginia and DC, it is still competitive with multiple offer situations, escalations, and waived contingencies. Sellers do not miss out on this opportunity. Buyers, if you want to avoid the comp competition and instead want to negotiate price down and keep all your contingencies, and who does not want that? Be open to buying in various areas. It's the buyers who have to be in a specific neighborhood or a specific zip code that might need to get super strategic. Another tip for buyers looking to negotiate prices down, really consider a home that needs some small cosmetic updates. I'm not talking about a major fixer upper, but it is the move in ready homes that are getting multiple offers. Those homes with the updated wood flooring, the modern light fixtures, on-trend backsplashes. You can do a lot of that yourself. So if you can have vision for what a home could be, you might just be able to score a deal. As always, we continue to keep an eye on what the federal government is doing to fight inflation, and we'll hear more in early May um, from the Fed and what might happen with the federal funds rate. The federal funds rate does have an impact on mortgage interest rates. And when it comes to the housing market, even a small shift in mortgage interest rates can swiftly alter buyer demand. As always, if you have any questions about the Northern Virginia or DC real estate market or are looking to buy or sell a property, call me, text me, DM me for more information. And be sure to check out all of my YouTube videos, better yet, subscribe to my page. Have a great day and take care.